Okay, this is the trailhead. This is where we're going to begin. There's a lock gate. There's my car down there. And there's the five. Wildflowers are already starting to come out. What's nice about this trail is on the weekends, it can just be absolutely insane. Uh, going some of the more popular hikes, Towsley, Placerita. Four cars out there, I haven't seen one person yet. What's cool about this hike is that you'll see pine trees kind of sporadically placed amongst the oaks. Here's a nice white oak. There's more pines in the background. You don't really see those going up Towsley. You may see a few in Placerita, but that's a, a nice plus to this walk. Okay, so instead of going left through that gate, we're gonna go right. We're gonna continue down this road, this path, this course, this way, this endeavor. Okay, this uh, trail is, is really nice. It's just unbeaten. Definitely there's a lot more foliage around here than there is on Towsley. Don't get me wrong, Towsley's a great place, but right now there's like 300 people on the trail. So this is uh, it's kind of refreshing, it's just kind of nice. You gotta come out here and check it out. Some outline tracks I've been noticing out here, kind of cool. Yeah, there's deer tracks out here and everything. All right, very cool. Just liking it a lot. You like this setup? It's my iPhone, and I'm using a little lightweight tripod that Velcro's on the end of my trekking pole. It's over that tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm a goofball. All right, catch you guys on the flip, flop, flippity flop. Okay, YouTubers, you probably want to see what this thing is. It's called the UltraPod, and I've had it forever and a day. I got it at REI. They no longer carry them, I don't think. It's plastic, lightweight, has this Velcro strap. You can tie it around a tree, do this sort of a thing, and wrap it around there. Now, this is a concoction I made myself. I just took a piece of ABS plastic, and I fashioned it to an old... It's something that goes on, went on an old camera flash pod, and I just uh, screwed it in, used some goop to hold it in place, and then I heated it up in the oven, and I just curved it around so it will clip on to my iPhone. Very nice view from up here on this ridge. Surprised at all the pines over there. There's a trail over there. I wonder where that goes. I'd like to check that out one day. Pretty nice, though. I don't know if you figured this out or not yet, but I like going off the beaten path. I saw a little trail here. Looks like it's been it's been used and uh, kind of would have missed it. It's off of the, the fire road there, but it goes up here. I don't know if this is from animal use or human use, but we're going to take it up here and just see where it goes. Interesting. Like a little observation thing up here. Oh, this is cool. A little surprise, never would have expected this. Got a little bench here. Kind of hang around. Oh, this is neat. Huh. Very cool. There's the Santa Clarita Valley over there. Over there is where I made that one video called The Ridge. That's, I don't know if you can see it in the far background over there, Towsley Canyon is right around the bend of that freeway. This is a little field of miner's lettuce. It's just amazing. It's, it tastes really Acorns. These are amazing. You can grind them up, use them for flour. Uh, they're just, they're really, really a good thing to have. I can't believe there's this many around here and the squirrels haven't gotten them. Okay, I want to show you 
the inside of one of these, um, there's quite a bit of material, edible material, inside of it. Of course, this is not how you normally want to do it, but you can see all this right here is meat. That's an acorn. Now, by itself, there's a lot of tannin. This is a, a white oak, so it's not going to be as bad. But you can taste it's a little bit bitter, but it's not too bad. The only problem is, if you eat too many of these, it can upset your stomach. That's why it's a good idea to boil them, and then you can dry them out, and you can make flour with them. Okay, we've reached another fork in the road. I've been right going that direction on my mountain bike. That's pretty nice, but we're going to go left today. We're going to take this down around to that, where I think it connects on my earlier shot that you saw. I'm coming up on the Oak Tree Gun Club, <laughs> and uh, you can hear them shooting in the background. Gun Club. That's a gun club. Yeah, you've never heard that before, right? Anyway, uh, so we'll just see where this takes us. It's kind of interesting. I'm going. Anyway, this is kind of cool. We're just going to go up to this ridge here. Wow. It's an amazing view. Yeah, I'll give you a little 360. What do you think? Hear him shooting down there? Very cool. You're not dizzy yet, are you? <laughs> I'm dizzy. All right. We're on the north side of this uh, face here, and boy, is it uh, its just green. There's a stream down there. I don't know if you can hear it or not. This is a nice little surprise. Okay, we're winding down to civilization here. Okay, this looks to be where the trail ends, which means I've got to take the road back to my car. I've done about, I think it's close to seven miles right now. Okay, walking over the bridge, over the freeway. Okay, I'm back where it started, and uh, it took me about four hours to do. I was really taking my time, though. I was taking a lot of pictures, and I was goofing off a lot. If I went straight through, it would have been a lot faster, that's for sure. But. Uh, you know, I like to stop, take pictures and all that, but we're right back where we started. I got to tell you, that was a very, very nice hike. You know, that might uh, disturb some people having to go back on the concrete for that last little leg back, but, you know, it was a great loop. I'd recommend it. It's just really pretty back there. A lot of interesting things, as you can tell by some of the footage and the pictures I took. Anyway, this is Big T. Go on out, get out, take a hike. See ya.